in the background. Um, <clears throat> so this is gonna be for last Friday. I was sick <clears throat> and I um wasn't really feeling like recording any videos. I do apologize for the delay but um so like i said i was going to do all the fridays in december i was going to talk about my family so i'm going to talk about my grandfather today and his animal unfriendliness <laughs> so grandpa killed my dog and he also killed my chicken um, I guess it's one of the reasons why my aunt doesn't like animals, possibly. But all mean people don't like animals. My grandfather wasn't that mean. He just wasn't the friendliest. So anyway, I got this dog. Right? And, um, he was a really nice dog. He was Mr. German Shepherd. I don't even remember where I got this particular dog from. But, um, we built him a house together me and grandpa and i named him steamy why i don't know i was a little kid i was like nine so eight or something like that so don't follow me for the name but my grandmother liked to call him tony so tony got big because tony was mixed with german shepherd so tony um probably on his hind legs was about maybe five five feet five three or something like that. I don't know. My grandfather is a really short guy. My great grandfather was really short. My great grandmother was really tall, which was funny because Medea had to be like five ten and grandpa was like five six or five seven at the most. Well <laughs> my grandfather would go fishing and he would scale the fish in the backyard. So one day he's scaling fish while I'm at school and a dog comes up behind him which he should know it's my dog. The dog jumps on his back and I guess he was just trying to greet my grandfather because he was a really happy dog. He wasn't mean at all. He was not aggressive. Well, Grandpa um, hits him in the head with a hammer. So, yeah. I killed him. And he's bleeding or whatever, and I guess he bled out to death. I'm not sure. Well, I'm coming home from school, and <clears throat> the first thing I see when I cut the corner is a dead dog. And I'm like, oh, my God, I recognize the dog. It's steamy. I take off running. I'm screaming, crying, top of my lungs. I bust through the door, drop my backpack, and my great-grandmother tells me that... She had something to tell me. So I sit in her lap and she's like, your dog has been killed. And I was like, I saw him. He got hit by a car. She's like, no, your grandfather wants you to think that he got hit by a car. But in actuality, he hit him in the head with a hammer. And I'm like, what? Like, I'm nine years old. So I'm just thinking, you know, I must have... <laughs> knew you know what of course death was and being murdered and killed or whatever so my grandfather comes in he's like that dog got hit by a car and i'm like you you're a murderer murderer, murderer. and so i like try to run and and get him i don't know what i was gonna do push him punch him i don't know but he like grabs me he's like i'm sorry the dog he tried to attack me so yeah grandfather killed my dog and drug him his lifeless body out to the curb to make it seem like it was a hit and run i'll never forget that grandpa also took me to the feed store because we used to grow um vegetables in the backyard and there were these little chicks 50 cents for a chick and so he bought three dollars worth of chicks so six chicks i play with those chickens this was before steamy i played with the chickens and their names were brewster cherry um i don't remember the other four names off the top of my head right now but it was so long ago but i do remember brewster and cherry because i named it after the punky brewster show um you know punky brewster it was brewster and then it was cherry well in actuality <clears throat> we just bought the chickens to eat them so they grew up or whatever and one day i came home from school and they were uh 
laying in the tub with no feathers, lifeless, and their necks had been wrung and uh, or wrung, rain, whatever. And um, yeah, that was dinner. I refused to eat. I ate McDonald's. I ate chicken nuggets. And my grandpa was like, hell, you eating chicken nuggets? <laughs> Why you can't eat this chicken? But I'm, I just refused to eat my friends for dinner. Yeah, so that's my family Friday. I hope it wasn't too disturbing for you guys. But um, I'll be back with Miscellaneous Mondays. Thanks for watching.